بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Meaning may peace, mercy, and blessings of Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then all of you. I, Sayyid Asif Ali Shah, will be the guest coordinator for today's program. We begin our program with the recitation of the glorious Quran. I request Khari Abdul Hakim to begin the program with the recitation of the Holy Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن يبتغي غير الإسلام دينا فلن يقبل منه وهو في الآخرة من القاسرين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد السلام عليكم الله Translation of the ayats recited Surah Ali Imran Surah number 3 Ayah number 85 If anyone desires a religion other than Islam, submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ever will it be accepted of him. And in the hereafter, he will be in the ranks of those who have lost. Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah number 112, verses from 1 to 4. Say, he is Allah the one and only. Allah the eternal, absolute. He begets not, nor is he begotten. And there is none like unto him. Yes, it is the El welcomes you with wholeheartedly to organize this program in this valley. Especially, I invite <coughs> the chairperson of this program, Reverend P. Alexander, uh, the Dean of Master of Divinity Program, to come forward and occupy his seat. His thumb. <coughs> Chief guest. Kalam Sahib, please come forward and occupy this seat. <laughs> Brother Sayyid Atista Mudin Husseini, who will deliver the lecture resistance program, please come forward and occupy this seat. <laughs> Let us talk uh, especially on peace. Understanding of peace in Islam, <coughs> no peace, no Islam, and no peace. The topic, uh, particularly, Sayyid is going to deliver us. So, <coughs> once again, we invite all our Muslim friends and brothers into our midst, into this prayer hall. Let me give you a brief introduction of CIE. The Center for Islamic Education in Hyderabad is a non-profit charitable trust established in June 2004 and registered under the government of AP. CIE promotes Islamic Dawah, the proper presentation and understanding of Islam, as well as removing misconceptions about Islam among Muslims and non-Muslims. CIE uses modern technologies for its activities. His presentations on Islam reach many people through personal interaction, public lectures, internet and media. These programs are conducted in English, Telugu, Urdu and Hindi. Explaining about the truth and excellence of Islamic teachings based on Quran and authentic Hadith, supported by reason, logic and scientific facts. Let me give you a brief introduction of our guest of honor. Janab Anwar Khan Sahab. Janab Anwar Khan Sahab 
is an active Islamic da'i and famous among the masses for his recitation of the Quran. He happens to be one of the famous educationists associated with Anwar Ulum College. I request Jan Janab Anwar Khan Sahab to present a copy of the Quran to Alexander sir. Now I request Janab Anwar Khan Sahab to present a copy of the Quran to Vasan sir. Now let me introduce to you the speaker for today's program. By profession, Brother Atasham is a mechanical and production engineer. He is dedicated in the field of Dawah, that is conveying the message of Islam since last three years. He is a student of Islam and comparative religion. He has delivered numerous talks on Islam and comparative religion. Apart from delivering numerous talks, he also had successful discussions with pandits, priests, pastors, fathers of multiple churches and temples in Hyderabad. Now I request Brother Atesham to present his talk on the topic, No Islam, No Peace. Alhamdulillah wahada wa salatu wa salamu ala malla nabiya baada wa ala alihi wa asahabihi ajma'in a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahi rahmanu rahim wa man yabtaghi ghayra al-islam dina falay yukbala minhu wa huwa fil akhirati min al-khasirin bismillahi rahmanu rahim rabbi shurah li sadri ويسل لي أمري وأهل الأخذة من لساني يفقه قولي. respected special guest جناب أنور خان صاحب respected chairperson from Andhra Christian Theological College Reverend Alexander respected chief guest Reverend Vasant guest coordinator of the session brother Asif elders in my audience and all my dear brothers and sisters I welcome all of you with the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Meaning, may peace, mercy, and blessings of Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be on all of you. Before I deal with the subject, I would like to thank the Andhra Christian Theological College and the members for the warm welcome that they have presented to us for this lecture. The topic of my talk is No Islam, No Peace. The title explains itself that if you know about Islam, then you will know about peace. If you know who is your true God, if you worship Him, accept His commands and implement in your life, then you will achieve the ultimate peace in this life and in the hereafter. Therefore I say, no Islam, no peace. Even if someone, just by listening to the topic, takes it in the negative sense as N-O, no Islam, N-O, no peace, yet it would give the right understanding to him that if there is no Islam, there will be no peace in this world. I as a student of Islam and comparative religion, I will be open to any discussion or clarification on the points that I will be presenting. But today's talk would be under the two headings. The first heading, introduction to Islam and its scripture. The second heading will be how Islam establishes and maintains peace. Beginning with the very first heading, Introduction to Islam and its scripture. The word Islam is derived from the root word Salam, which means peace. It's also derived from the word Sin, which means submission of one's will to the will of Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As such, Islam means peaceful submission of one's will to the will of Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Many people have a misconception that Islam began 1400 years ago and was introduced by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Rather, Islam is there since the time immemorial. It is there since the very first man set the foot on the earth. The very first human being was...